Hello and welcome to Premiere Gal. If you're new here, consider subscribing to learn weekly video editing and production tips. And also hit that notification bell so you're notified when I make new tutorials every week. In this video, you're going to learn how to create fast and awesome vertical Instagram stories in Premiere Pro. Also, this video includes a competition. After you watch this tutorial, I'd like you to create your own creative 15 second Instagram story in Premiere Pro. And whoever has the most creative Instagram story will win a free pack of over 75 Instagram story designs, as well as a feature on my website and in one of my future YouTube videos. You can use Envato After Effects or Premiere Pro templates in your Instagram story and more details on how to submit are in my description box below. And I'm excited to see what you guys come up with. Lastly, before we jump in, I wanted to let you know that I've included a time-coded breakdown of everything covered in this tutorial in my description box below. So if you need to skip ahead, you can do that anytime. So the first step is to create a new sequence with the correct vertical dimension. Go to new item icon and select create a new sequence. And here in the new window, there is not a preset for Instagram vertical stories. So we have to create one of our own. So let's start with the digital SLR 1080p 30 frames per second preset. Then from the settings tab, we're going to flip the frame size. So it's not 60 by nine, but instead nine by 16. So to do that, we're going to change the horizontal to 1080 pixels and then change the vertical to 1920 pixels. Now that we have the nine to 16 ratio, let's leave the rest alone, then click on save preset and let's call it vertical Instagram story. Then hit okay. And now you can see we have our vertical sequence. So now we can begin to add media into our timeline. So let's drag in a video clip here and you will first get prompted with a clip mismatch warning. And in this case, you wanna keep the existing setting as you don't want the sequence to revert back to a different size than the vertical sequence that we just set up. So now here we can rescale the video to fit the frame using the effect controls motion parameters. Let's scale it up to fit the entire frame and let's change the position until the part of the video that we want is in the frame. As you probably know, Instagram stories can only be 15 seconds long. So go to your time code here and type in 15 seconds. Then hit O on your keyboard to set an out point. That way when we export, it will export at exactly 15 seconds. Also, if the clip that you're working with exceeds the 15 second marker here, just simply roll it back to meet that 15 second marker where your CTI is in your timeline. So next, you can use the Essential Graphics panel to create some graphics over top of the video. For example, I can use the type tool to type out my own text here in the program panel and then choose a transition from effects. I really like the glitch transition, which is part of the Red Giant Universe plugin, and I'll change the preset of the glitch to something different from the effect controls. So then I'll render it out and you can see that it's my video with some nice glitch text on top. You of course can use any free effects that you want from the free transitions provided with Premiere Pro, but if you like, you can also use more advanced motion graphics templates. I really like this arrow animation that I have in my essential graphics panel that encourages viewers of Instagram stories to swipe up. It's part of an Instagram stories pack by Easy Edit from the Envato Market Library. I will go over more of this template pack later in the video. And if you need help on how to import and install motion graphics templates, you can watch my tutorial on how to import and edit them in Premiere Pro, which is linked in the description box below. So I'm going to drag this arrow template into my timeline. And from the edit tab, you can change the scale and the position. And if you wanna change the color, you can do that as well. So next we can add some text. So let's say that this is a new video or a vlog that you wanna promote. You probably wanna put in some text here about what the video is about. So you don't wanna to add too much because in Instagram, you can also overlay your own text. So for example, you can add hashtags um, or mention other Instagram accounts, which is what makes it more interactive. So 
You don't want to add your hashtags or those accounts here, but you may want to add some cool animated text. So I really like this typography template kit by Easy Edit. There's lots of different titles that are already pre-animated that you can edit. And I really like their Easy Edit 18 Title 50. And so I'm going to drop this into the video. And I'll also use a second title, the Easy Edit 18 Title 11, and I'll drop it into my timeline. So I have two animated titles. And then next, I'm going to customize them. So for the first title, let's type in Iceland and replace the second text with travel vlog. I'll leave the colors as is, and then I'll use the effect controls parameters to control the exact size I want this title to be. Next, I'll customize the second title template to say swipe up for the first line and then the second title to watch smiley face. Then I'll delete the content from the third line so that will just completely disappear. I want to make the backdrop of the second title the same color as the first title frame. So simply move the CTI to the point where you see the yellow in the program panel. Then I'll use the dropper tool to select this yellow color border to make this background yellow as well. Next, let's just quickly render it out. And now you have your Instagram story and you can actually save this project file to be a template, a master template for the future Instagram stories that you want to create. And I'd also encourage you guys to add music to your Instagram stories. If you're a YouTuber or an independent filmmaker, I'd recommend Soundstripe. It's just $15 per month and you can license and access unlimited music tracks for all video. And it's all royalty free and you can license tracks for any type of video, vlog, tutorial, documentary, or even commercial work. So I like this music track from Soundstripe called Make New Friends. So after I download it and import it into my project panel, as you see here, I'm going to drag this music track into my timeline and then cut it at 15 seconds to match the video. Then from effects, I'm going to search for exponential fade, which is an audio effect, and I'm going to drag it to the end of this music clip so it fades out nicely. Now we have our final Instagram story and we're ready to export. So simply go to file, export, media, and here just make sure that you have H.264 selected as the format type. And for preset, you can keep it at match source, high bitrate. At the bottom, you can see the projected file size estimate. Then you can export, and to get this on your phone on a Mac, I'd recommend using AirDrop to send the file to your iPhone. If you're on a PC, I'd recommend using Google Drive to share the file with your phone, so you then can upload it to a story from your camera roll on your phone. And lastly, I just want to show you the Easy Edit and Vato Premiere Pro Instagram Stories pack that you can win when you enter the competition that I mentioned in the beginning. It comes with over 75 story templates and 50 animated elements that you can use to craft your own unique modern stories. So first you need to install the Mogerts from the template into your local templates folder. And you can watch my tutorial link below to learn how to do this quickly. And then you need to be sure to install all the fonts that come with this template. There's a lot of them. So you can use their link to install all of them quickly on your computer. And then you can open up the Premiere Pro project that the template comes with. And inside of the project panel here, you'll see that there are a bunch of different Instagram story sequences divided up by category. So for example, if you want to make a story on travel, you have three templates here to choose from. I'll open up the first one here, and then you can select the graphics layer. And using the essential graphics panel, you can edit the text to anything that you want. Then below that, you can fill in the video content. You can see that there is a content sequence that if you double click, you can open that up and you can drag in your own video. And then you can export using the same method that I just showed you earlier. So this template is a quick and easy way to get stories done fast. And if you prefer After Effects, they also have the same template designed for After Effects as well. So I'll link to both below. And lastly, just a reminder that you should submit an Instagram story as a part of my competition. I will judge them and the most creative one will win this free Instagram stories template pack of 75 stories for free. And your Instagram story will be featured in one of my YouTube videos and on my website. I'll put a link to the competition below and I look forward to seeing your stories. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.